Welcome, Taurus. It's your first half of October heart spread. This is a reading reads uh, whoever's in your mind, whoever's uh, on your heart here. Um, this is going to be we're going to pick up on. Could be with them or not with them. A pre shuffle. And uh, so I'll put a little energy on these um, here. So try to get to look at you and your person, like a baseline where you're at, and then how it is for you guys when you come together. Some advice uh, for each of you in dealing with the other. And then it goes a lot for an eight card spread. And we get advice from spirit and an outcome. And, um, see what's going on. And I always ask the name of light and love, so it serves the greatest good spirit. Can you give us some help here? We don't want to just see exactly what the situation is. You likely know the situation. We want some help from spirit in terms of uh, this relationship. What serves your highest good? What's something that can be helpful? I'm going to start with you. Ten of one. So where your energy is at, Taurus, in and around relationships here, the first half of October, uh, burdened. Um, good news is, tens, it's about you've had enough. So you might be coming out of a relationship, because I kind of use this as a baseline. And this may not be energy that's directed towards your person here that's on your mind. It's kind of just where you're at. But this is about love and relationships. So likely then, um, you're coming out of a relationship where you really felt burdened. Um, likely you weren't reciprocated. Uh, maybe you had to pay all the bills. Maybe you had to do all the work. You know, I've been there. It's like you, the relationship existed because you did 90% of the work, okay, ones are actions, like the laundry, the cooking, the shopping, etc. But again, there's an emotional thing. Like if you were with a spouse that was an uh, invalid, but you had a deep love relationship and you knew you had to do the shopping and it could be totally different. You wouldn't necessarily get, it is hard to be a caretaker, but if there's love there and bonding and reciprocation in, in that way, probably it wouldn't get to the point where it felt like such a burden so um, that's a tough energy to come into a relationship with and not kind of bring it with you but let's see what's going on eight of uh, wands this is your person I like this uh, Taurus um, being a, could be a fire sign person coming into you could be someone from a distance again but it's someone that's um, I get the feeling like with you Taurus and this energy you might not be exactly dying to jump into another relationship because it's not like mercury retrograde stuff i don't think but this is someone could be but this is someone that's really interested in you and they're just showing you a lot like uh, a lot of attention um if it's uh, online excuse me iced coffee here in cancun <laughs> it's a little warm but not too horrible um so let's see what's going on as you meet them this is your energy, how you feel about them once you're in the relationship. You don't get a lot better than the Queen of Cups. Um, so this would explain it. Like uh, it, your natural energies, you're feeling burdened. You feel like you uh, took on too much. You kind of need a minute. But when you're around them, they make you feel like the Queen of Water. So it would bring out naturally any water energy that's in your chart. It makes you feel emotional. It makes you feel understood, I'd say, emotionally. You feel like uh, you're connecting with them emotionally. And here's what I love about this most of all. If I'm your friend and I see you in this Queen of Cups energy and you're telling me about your new man or your new woman, I already like them. Because look at you. If someone makes you feel like Queen of Cups, it's hard to say that's a bad thing, guys. Um, so I like it right off the bat. Now let's see how they're responding to you. Judgment. Major Arcana. So you're a big deal to them. I see this with the Eight of Wands and then Judgment, the way they're feeling towards you um, and you showing up as a queen. I mean, they really built you up. I'm not saying you don't deserve it. Likely you do. Uh, there could be Venus energy with this Queen of Cups, you know. Um, it, you know, has that energy about her. Um, so you're being really yourself here, too, I feel. When you're with them, you feel like you can be yourself and you can be open emotionally. Um, and they're uh, really taking this seriously, if there was any doubt. And they're feeling like this relationship is like calling them up to like a higher level of relationship. I bet you something was said about that uh, in some way they would phrase it. Like uh, it's it's a little bit like that. What was the movie that I've watched so many times and I never wanted to watch once? 
uh, you make me want to be a better man, <laughs> you know, uh, that kind of energy. It's like um, they feel like that you're maybe what they've been searching for for a long time, why they're coming to you so fast here, Taurus, so hard. Um, and they're willing to um, basically be their best selves uh, to be around you. Now, this is advice from spirit. Whoever this person was in the past here that's uh, engendered this Ten of Wands energy, um, I can't believe a child's actually playing outside. I'm glad, you know, uh, not inside watching videos or playing video games. But, you know, this is let go of that X energy, whatever it was, um, if you're going to have this relationship here, which shouldn't be hard to do because this person makes you feel like the Queen of Cups. And I'm going to guess that that person did make you feel like the Queen of Cups, man or woman. Wow judgment under justice and this is the advice from spirit in dealing with the person your advice is if you're going to deal with this person you got to get over the last person their advice is dealing with you um it's kind of like they need to get over maybe you're still married to this person you know um and with judgment here and justice i get some sense of it maybe the universe is your cross watching is advising you uh, to just be aware that this is your karma. And in this case, you could say it's good karma. Uh, this, you, Taurus, are good karma for them. I think that's what the universe is trying to tell them. And injustice would bring to it a higher octave of energy. Uh, Libra energy could be in their chart. We got Mars right now uh, transit in along uh, with the uh, retrograde energy of Mercury. On the 10th bang bang with those two and the sun so keep that in mind in all of this um, with this justice card uh, being their advice it's I feel like it's kind of like uh, have patience have faith that things are gonna work out and because uh, they may be a little concerned maybe about your situation here uh, Taurus um, and there could be a sense I get a sense too with them judgment and justice um, they, they really take this seriously it's like um, they probably are going to see you in this as the most important relationship of their lives. And I don't really care how many relationships it's been. You know, you might not be real young here, you guys. Ace of Cups. This is advice from Spirit in this relationship for both of you. Give each other your cup. And I think that might be especially true for the Cross Watcher. Uh, it's your challenge, Taurus, to give your cup because uh, you're dealing with this burden, you're dealing with maybe grief still, emotions, and you need to put that to bed. And their challenge is because they're so excited, like they're kind of in their head. Uh, and Spirit is saying, drop, drop the energy into the emotions and really give each other your love here. You know, they could be at a distance here. It could be a little sense that both of you need some encouragement to be more vulnerable and be more open emotionally. So in every sense of that, go that way that's the advice from spirit and the outcomes six of cups towards a beautiful reading and a beautiful outcome the soulmate card I'm not surprised to see it i think like your person senses this very strongly they could be the activator and you could be asleep as a twin flame um, but they could be the one that's coming to you and saying i manifested you i knew you were coming taurus i know you're my soulmate and I think also with the Six of Cups and being the outcome, again, this look, you got the Ace of Cups over the Six of Cups, guys. I just got to look at this energy. <laughs> just, just look at it for a minute, and how does that make you feel when you look at it? That's pretty yummy. It's very emotional um, and feeling very good and at home with each other and emotionally whole. Um, and just, it's just very yummy, guys. I don't know. I get, it's like one of the best readings I've had in a while now. Because uh, it's light, too. There, there's not a lot of angst here other than you. And I kind of get the feeling, Taurus, the way you're going to deal with this is just bye-bye. It's like, you know, hello. This is a soulmate relationship coming in. And this stuff is not going to be that hard. It's just in your head anyway. And you don't have to run around like chicken with your head cut off anymore for your person now. So thank you, guys. Like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. Need the help. Thank you.